Hi, I'm Ibro Golightly. Today I'm so excited to share with you my Tori Birch collection and my puppy because she wants to be in the video. <laughs> let's get started. So let's start with some like vintage stuff like these shoes. I think I got these at the outlet um, years ago. I'm not sure exactly how long, but I don't wear them that much because they're blue. But when I do wear them, they look really cute. They're a little um, little wedge there. They're not in the best, best shape, but I still really like them. Super, super cute. And I also have like a, a blue YSL bag that I wear with these. I really like them. Um, the, the flat ones that everybody loves, I don't know the name of them. Um, I just have a hard time with those. So these were kind of like a compromise. I wore them to work a lot and I wear them when any, whenever I'm wearing that like blue uh, YSL bag or, you know, throw it in there. Royal blue is definitely one of my favorite colors. So I'm happy that I got these. Most of the other items that I have are actually pretty neutral, so I'm glad that I have a little bit of color. So I also got this one from the outlet pretty recently. Check out this video here on me talking about and me actually shopping in store. Um, so this is the Thea flat uh, wallet on a chain. I really love it and I've been wearing it like nonstop lately. Um, it has the flap. Um, stuff in it sorry um so it's got the card holders there it's got a two one back there I've got stuff in here a zip <laughs> and then the back flap which is really nice and then in the back flap I'm able to actually fit my iPhone 13 Pro so that's pretty cool um there are silver uh hardware but it's like very subtle so it's not in your face hardware so I don't I wear it with gold and silver um, I really like it. It's just super easy. I've actually worn it as a clutch for an event as well. And it's just an easy grab and go bag. I think if I were to go back to the outlet, this is probably, I'd probably get this again, maybe in a different color too. I really like the this though for spring and summertime. It's really nice. Another bag that I actually got on that same trip to the outlet is this one. Um, I think this is an Emerson. Um, I'm going to put the name down here if because I'm not sure. Um, it's very similar to that one, but this this one is actually like a pebbled leather and is kind of a little bit softer. And then this one is that, um, I don't know if it's called that for Tory Burch, but this is the Safiano or Safino leather. Um, so it's a little bit harder. I'm like, you can kind of see how hard this leather is, which is great for really structured, bigger bags. But I think because it's a small bag, and I want to stuff as much pop as possible into this bag. I don't really like that it's so hard. Meaning like the back of it, I can't really get my phone in there because it doesn't stretch. Um, I mean, I can, I think I can, but it's really hard to get in and out, which I have no interest in spending time trying to get things in and out of my bag. Um, it's very similar to that one. It has the card slots there. It has a pretty large for a small bag, little area. Um, a zip and then another pocket up here and then the pocket on the back what I do like about this is that you can hold it kind of like this with your hand and then the gold straps are really pretty I really like these straps um, to wear as like a crossbody so pretty but yeah I think it's just not as practical um, for me it might be it might be on the chopping block meaning like I might sell it soon for somebody that would appreciate it more than I do. <laughs> Next up is my, I don't know what the name of this is, but I think it's a Cura. Um, I got it on sale from the Tory Burch Boutique online. The puppy is whining. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Hello. Yes. So this is, I think, a Cura bag. I'm going to put the name of it if I can find the type of bag that it is. Um, I got it on sale at the Tory Burch Boutique um, online. Um, it's really pretty and it kind of has that um, matte-ish finish of the, the strap. And then it's a really soft, I'm assuming like lambskin uh, bag. So, so soft. Um, it has this front pocket that fits my phone. 
and that it has like a pretty decent size interior. These types of bags are very awesome because you can fit a ton in there. I know it seems like you it doesn't fit a ton because it's small, but it, it's deceptive. You know, you can fit a lot in there. So it's got a zip pocket and a regular pocket. And then I think I probably like a nylon interior, black nylon, um, but so pretty and just kind of like has that Chanel-ish vibe. Um, it actually reminds me of the uh, Gucci Disco bag. It's like pretty much the same size. Um, I, I wish I had the other one so I could like compare it, but it's very comparable in size. Really love it. Um, it's a, just like a grab and go bag for me. Um, fits like everything I need in here, which is awesome. Next up is my Miller crossbody bag um, with the metal here. I've seen this as like a as leather before but I got mine in metal I also got this one on sale um, from the boutique uh, and so stinking cute so pretty in this like beautiful camel color um, it has the magnetic on the outside flap and then what's on the inside it's like a tweed ish interior and a zipper pocket and a regular pocket and then it has the pocket on the back I think you noticed my theme of um, of my bags is I like crossbody bags and I like back pocket bags. Um, those are my favorite. I wear this one the most out of all of the bags because this one matches my uh, Miller Cloud sandals. I mean, they're not the exact same color, but they're very, very, very similar. I'm like, and then it kind of has that Miller vibe to it because the logos are the same. Um, like the setup of the logo is the same. So very similar color. And obviously when the bag is up here and the shoes are down there, they look like they're the exact same color. So these are called Aged Carmelo is the color. And then this was a different color name. I can't remember the name of this one, but very similar, but not exact, you know, but I love the camel color. It goes with everything, um, black, brown, everything under the possible sun, which is pretty cool. So the thing about like black um, is that it kind of clashes with some things sometimes. So I really love the camel and it matches just literally everything. Yay. Speaking of like that camel color, I also have this bag, which I think is the Robinson, I forget. I think this one might be discontinued. So whatever, I will put everything in the description box below. And if this one's not available, then I'll share the one that is like almost exactly the same, but is slightly different. This is that super hard uh, Safino leather or Safiano leather. Um, it's just a really beautiful bag and I've been using it forever as my work bag, but I have a secret. So my secret is that inside, so inside the bag, I've actually kept the cardboard that it came with. So that kind of keeps it, can you kind of see in there? Nobody's looking inside my bag, you know? And that cardboard kind of keeps it structured because I've seen this bag, like newer versions of this bag, and it's very saggy. And with that cardboard in there, I've packed this thing to like full, full, full computer books, like millions of different things. And it still has its shape. So, and I think that's because the cardboard is still in there. So I would definitely recommend keeping the cardboard in there and, you know, to keep the shape. You know, I know it's kind of tacky, but nobody sees it. So on the inside of this bag, there's a zipper pocket. There's so many pockets. There's a zipper pocket, two pockets here, um, the middle pocket, which is kind of padded, so you can put your computer in there. Um, and on this side, there's two pockets and then like a key holder type thing, so you can put that there. And then this is adjustable um, so that if you're shorter or if you want to wear it differently, you can you can put it on here or you can put it at the crick of your arm and you can change the length of the straps, which is pretty cool. So Tory Burch also has really cool jewelry. I really love like these earrings are super cute. I've had them forever and they've lasted forever. Um, 
I really like, I don't know if they're still doing this or not, but the, let me see if I can get the focus onto it. There we go. So the little backing, it kind of has that T on it, which is so cool. I love it. Here, maybe you can see it better here. So, so cool. Anyway, and then the back of the earring has the T and then the front. It's just so, so pretty. I really like their jewelry. Um, there's a bunch of stuff right now that's on sale on their website that's so cute and I want it. Um, <laughs> it's definitely on my wish list. Maybe if I sell that bag, the Emerson bag, maybe I'll buy some jewelry instead. Okay, next up we have the new Miller Softs. So these Miller sandals are kind of controversial as far as like the Tory Burch community goes. Um, a lot of people are not liking them. They want the classics back. Well, for the rest of us who have kind of wide feet, I'm not, I don't have like a wide foot mostly, but for Tory Burch, my foot is wide. So I was never able to partake in getting a pair of the Miller sandals till they came out with the Miller clouds. And then I went into the store and tried on the Miller softs and they fit fantastic, super cute, super comfortable, um, no metal on them. So there's like nothing uh, pushing into my foot or anything. I know not everybody loves them, but for me, they are just perfection, super comfortable, super cushy, and my foot isn't falling off the side of them like the original Miller uh, classics. Um, so yeah, I'm a huge fan. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Tory Burch bag is and your favorite pair of Tory Burch shoes. Are you a cloud? Are you a Miller? Or are you a classic or a soft or like the square toe that just came out? Let me know in the comments. Check out my most recent shopping trip to Tory Burch here. Thank you for watching.